All right, well, hopefully we are on the air. And good morning, everybody, as we are bringing you one more game here of the Hockey World Cup as Team USA, the remnants thereof, face the Commonwealth of Independent States. No forfeit, says Team USA. This one is really happening as they have uh, lost a couple of players. We'll chalk it up to Mother's Day as a euphemistic compromise. And Lily Pato already getting one in for CIS. So at least Team USA not going gently into that good night. They will, uh, I don't know if this is actually rage against the dying of the light, but nevertheless, they are here to show up and play. Let's look at those lineups. It is Jarvan in the net, Tlures, Luchik, and not led. Yeah, Tlures uh, skating up a little bit here, playing on defense. But here's another shot, and Jarvan having to stop that. And so your CIS team is fertile, Lilipato, Alexander, and Aziz. And these guys have been pretty good. We've looked at them before, and they play very well. And they are on the move here. And Lily Potter with his second of the game already. And this is a double header. And I'm doing this myself. It looks like Killinger is also gone for Mother's Day. I am winners with the one. And yes, a very subdued Sunday here. As there was a game earlier where Canada played. And I believe they won their game, so um, I don't know. I was not informed of that one, so I'm not really sure. But I think that Canada may have squeaked their way into the Hockey World Cup playoffs, which is kind of cool. So there will at least be one North American team representing, which is nice. We weren't sure that there was going to be. So, very happy to see that. And Luchik, very happy to see a goal from Luchik as Team USA puts one on the board with some help from not led. This thing is pretty close now. Two to one as we go under a couple of minutes past in the first period. And, yeah, we'll, we'll, see, if, uh, we'll see if hockey continues. The Hockey World Cup playoffs will definitely be starting pretty soon. Oh, there's one that, oh, Jarvin gets a piece of and stops they had to do a little bit to that one to stop it but yes you're looking at team usa versus the commonwealth of independent states here's a shot from distance and that one looked good but it is just over the net kind of landed on top of the crossbar so thanks for joining us. We didn't put out any sort of social or anything, but we got the same amount of viewers anyway. And not led puts one past him there. He just manages to pop one off of the stick and through a good play to tie things up. So USA is showing a little bit of uh, life here. I'm, I'm glad somebody is. There's a shot oh, off the side of the post. And CIS almost with a goal to answer, but not quite. So it is going to go back the other way. And hope you're having a great Mother's Day wherever you are. And CIS will take it here, fertile with it. He's going to switch it up over the other side of the rink. And Team USA with the steal and with room. Luchik working it down. He's going to make the shot here and a score. A nice one by Luchik. Makes it three to two. So Team USA looking pretty good here. They are without Dick McButts, who I heard uh, varying reports that he was never playing hockey again for Team USA or LHL or anything else and, and fuck all of us or something like that. And I don't know. There was a lot of uh, jawing during the week. I don't know what it all comes down to. I'm really not sure. And it's Sunday morning, so I don't care. But Lucha cares. He shoots and scores. He makes it 4-2. to two. Hat trick for Lucha. Four points for Team USA, and they double their lead over CIS. So, not bad. 
So thanks to everybody who is joining us. Hey, good to see you. But yeah, I, I think, uh, I don't know, from what I hear, everything's uh, pretty discouraging as far as uh, what I hear. So I'm just trying not to listen to anything that people say, because who knows or cares. What I uh, can tell you is that this is a pretty exciting game in front of us, and Team USA hasn't had a lot to cheer about in this Hockey World Cup so far. They, they've had a really rough go of it. Um, they've had uh, personnel changes that were unexpected, including today. I, we weren't even sure if they were going to forfeit this one or not due to lack of players, but they are here, and they are winning. This first game of the doubleheader, and in strong fashion. Four to two, your score. So, good effort so far. And we will start the second period. Off the draw, a shot that almost goes in. CIS definitely working their way in off the opening face-off, and now they will regather it and try to do so again. But here is one dumped down from Team USA, looking for that bounce in front, not able to get it before it is sent out by Aziz, who is going to find his teammate on the wing here. And now it will be swatted away from him, taken into the corner, pushed back around, and Toulouse will try to... He does the little headbutt here. <laughs> As here's a shot, and it's going to not be quite there. So they will chase this down into the corners. Fertile with it. Leaving the pass, he's got a lot of pressure from Team USA on defense, though, and so not able to convert on that as they're playing man-on-man uh, -on -man right now, and it is uh, working pretty well. Here's a shot from downtown. And this one will go off the side of the net. And, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing stuff from Migo Meepo here. He's uh, sending stuff about uh, what happened. We'll, we'll look at that as we go into this uh, intermission here. We'll have an intermission report on the other games. Yeah, we're very pro, very pro today. So thanks to all our friends uh, speaking Russian in the chats. Basiba, y'all. We appreciate you. And the Russians are going to be uh, probably the team to beat in this Hockey World Cup. Russian Federation, very strong, very strong team. And they have uh, prevailed so far, and, and we'll see how they do in the playoffs. Oh, here's one that goes. Look, all, team USA almost put one into their own net. So that, that one was a little bit scary. As now we'll look at it here. It's going past everybody. It's going to be dumped down the other way. Toulouse will take this behind the net. Usually we see Toulouse in the net. But stolen chance possibly here for CIS moving beyond the defensive player. Shoots it wide to the left as he was going across the right side there. And they will circle around and try to peel off another one here. But it is stolen by Team USA. Here is a possible chance. The backhand, the shot, the score! Toulouse gets one in. And some life in this Team USA team. It is 5-2. to two. And this is a very good CIS team. And they are doing very well against them. 5-2, to two, a three-goal lead. If my math is correct, on this early Sunday morning here in the USA. So, here's another shot. And this one just a little bit off. But Team USA still moving in offensive pressure coming. CIS with the steal. Fertile with the shot. And the rebound on the other side. Lily Pato is going to take this. He's gotten a couple already for CIS. And looking to add to his totals, it will go back down for Aziz to cover behind the net for CIS. And now he will move it. And the beautiful pass. He's got it all alone here. Shoots. Oh, just wide to the right. He had plenty of room, but he had to spin and try to make the shot there. And just not able to get everything he wanted to on that. 
So puck goes down into the corner, and it will be sent around the boards. He will be looking for Lily Pato here, and it's going to get away from him, but Ferdal there, and he's just going to go ahead and redirect this. But here is Team USA moving it again. And stopped before they can. Not Led's going to have to go back and chase this. Jarvin comes all the way out to make the play. And now sent down. Tallur's playing very far up. He's uh, gone off a of defense and onto offense now. But Alexander with it. A nice shot. He's going to go ahead and just lob one from distance. And picked up by Lily Pato, leaving a beautiful pass, plenty of room, oh, the chip shot just goes over the net, so not able to convert, but they will hold it in, CIS with it now, the Commonwealth of Independent States, these guys are good, they're looking for the wraparound, stopped there, and this one will go into the corner, still plenty of room to shoot, and this one just high and wide, and Lily Pato will gather this up, it looks like, and blocked, and they will push their way in with it, but not before time runs out on the second period. And uh, let's see what we've got here in our uh, news for you. Oh, okay. Uh, it looks like the uh, BNC team, uh, he said they ended the tournament in a not very dignified way. So, okay, I'm not sure. Uh, I think they might have forfeited one of the games. I know one of them went to overtime. Uh, Canada will come away with some points for that. I'm not sure if that's enough to get them into the playoffs. We were waiting on the results of England versus Ukraine, and I'm not sure how that went either. I think that was the only game left on the schedule as far as the round robin for hockey world cup before the playoffs are set now we're not sure also if the playoffs are actually happening next weekend there may be a delay of an extra week before the playoffs start we will uh, wait to find out on that uh, you can find out more about that at r slash hockey question mark or probably in the case of our viewers, uh, you probably find out on the VK.com. That, that seems to be the place to go for uh, information in, in Cyrillic and stuff. I, I, I wish I could read that stuff. I, I can't. Okay, first time was OT. First game was OT win for Canada. Second was a forfeit. Thank you, Migo Mipo, for, uh, for confirming that. And thanks for helping put all this together. Here's one that almost goes in. He got the chip shot off, but he, uh, I don't know, looked like he was a little surprised to be receiving that one so quickly. And so now here's another one. This one blocked, and it will be picked up. CIS holding it in. Yes, to, if England gets zero or one points versus Ukraine, then Canada will get in the playoffs. Okay, so uh, so Ukraine has to do well against England. I was thinking it was the other way around. And here's one that goes way back. And this will be picked up by CIS. They will start to go on the move here. As it will be taken down and stolen by Team USA. Shot from distance. And what a huge save by Aziz. As he stops a sure shot that was coming from mid, from right there in center ice. And Aziz, a big, big save. So keeps his team in it with that. And this one back for Team USA. They're going to start working from the back here. Here's a shot stopped by Jarvin. Sent back out. And CIS is going to handle this back in the back. They are in red. There is uh, Royce who has come in for them here. Looks like a substitution been made. A couple of minutes left in this one. Uh, first of two games. And Team USA looking like they might actually put a win on the board here, which is uh, unusual. And I, I'm not. Sh I'm pretty sure that Jarvin is part of Team USA. I, I don't have the rosters in front of me, but yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm not sure that I, I know. I, I thought I'd seen him play in previous games, but uh, I'm not entirely certain on that. 
I know that their main players, some of whom were not able to make it today. So, but I, I'm pretty sure he's on there somewhere. Oh well, Igor is saying he, he might not be. So I, I don't know. We may have controversy here. Who fucking knows? I, I can't keep up. A minute left, though, and he is uh, keeping him in this as he's uh, made some saves in this game, whether legal or illegal. We will find out for sure. And wouldn't that just be the, the thing? W wouldn't that really sum up the series for Team USA if their only game that they actually won outright came from a ringer and is taken off the board yeah that that would just be yeah par for the course par for the fucking course okay here is Jarvin on the save though <laughs> 25 seconds here another shot and this one blocked and lots of pressure coming in from CIS, they are working it towards the USA zone, and the USA just trying to get it out, desperately not able to, shot wide to the left, and still clogging up the lanes, looking for something here, CIS working with it, as finally not led, will get enough room to clear this out, and that's going towards the other, oh, it went in, it did not look like it was going to go in in time, but it does, that one will count, 6-2, to two. And that is your first game on the board. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because the USA has been eliminated officially from the playoffs. They are, I, I was surprised they showed up today anyway. It looked like it was going to be a forfeit. So, uh, hats off to them for showing up and making an appearance and, and you know, making the country proud. I mean, that, that's what Obama would have done, and that's what they're doing here. So, yes, USA will end up uh, on sixth place in the standings in the first ever Hockey World Cup, and they will be looking to do a lot better than that in the ones to come, assuming there will be ones to come. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me you know sometimes I, I haven't had my coffee yet but I, I just wake up and I just hear all this bullshit and it's just you know is there a hockey community anymore I don't know this is not the right time nor the right person to ask you know <laughs> fuck it we'll all go play Super Bowl who cares right okay but we're going into the second game <laughs> With a high level of enthusiasm. At least we got a win for Team USA. That, that's awesome. As an American, I find that uh, the, uh, pleasing somehow. I, I try not to have too much of a rooting interest in this. I mean, as you guys know, I'm uh, very uh, objective about the games. Even when it's, uh, if it's USA Russia, if it's USA Canada, if it's USA whoever. You know, we try to maintain objectivity here because we're procasters. Here's a chance, and this one bounces off, and it will be carried in here. So, yes, the, <laughs> they're asking for a reset. I don't know. Uh, I've seen some uh, people popping in and out of this game, so I don't know if... Uh, oh, oh, there was a fake furto, of course. It would not be a Hockey World Cup game without at least one fake player. Great. All right. So here we go with the reset. Assuming that these players are the real players that they are supposed to be. Oh, man. <laughs> it looks like uh, your lineups will stay essentially the same for USA because these are the only fuckers that showed up. Luchik, Jarvin, Tlures, and not led. And, yes, yeah, CIS has... Uh, we'll see who they're going to send out here. And if they are the actual people that they mean to send out. Always fun, always fun. <laughs> a 
But you can catch all these games on the YouTube. If you go to YouTube and type in IBN Casting, we have a YouTube site there where we have all these games, including everything that we've covered in the Hockey World Cup and the HQML, which I assume is still intact and will continue to be intact. Thank God. We've got something that's not fucking falling apart. Uh, that's every Friday as we are... Uh, hopefully we can hold on till we have a finals in that. That's uh, The machine should be playing 2 Chains Verse on Talk Dirty to me this Friday unless uh, the whole thing dissolves in uh, ridiculous acrimony. Hopefully it will not. So here's a chance in front, and CIS already putting a lot of pressure on the USA net and not quite able to convert. Here's a shot from distance, though. Big save by Ark, who has uh, gotten in the net. That seems to be the only replacement player for CIS at the moment. They're going with Alexander, Lilipato, uh, Royce, and, yes, Ark in the net. And uh, already having to make some big saves. So... Here is another chance for them. Blocked! Shot! Scores! The other way! Not led! How about that? Well, that just made me a lot more enthusiastic. As he was making the shot for CIS, it bounces off not led stick and rockets the other way into the goal. So <laughs> unbelievable. Good Lord. You saw it right here. And Lily Pato answers with a more conventional, but still counting, goal. So we are tied up at one. <laughs> okay. Well, 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 that th made things a little bit more interesting. Thanks, guys. Okay, here is a shot towards the net. <laughs> Forgive me, folks. It, it's been a long weekend, and it, it, it's. Uh, a little frustrating sometimes with the communication. The, there's only Pato, no difference in communication there in any language. That is a goal, and that is his second of the game. And see, it's the second of the game. Two to one. And they were on their way to make another one there, but uh, that one counted for Team USA as uh, just a crazy shot. We'll have to go look at that on the replays. That that was just amazing. We, we have seen some pretty interesting goals with the physics of hockey question mark, and that one's certainly no different. So, yeah, Dr. Killinger's not here today, so you're just getting me. I'm mostly talking. I, I should be working the camera and uh, using this thing a little bit more, but uh, mostly I'm just trying to bring you the action as of the games I'm told about, uh, I was not told there was a game before this, uh, which is fine because I slept. I needed to sleep really badly, but or else we would have brought you that one. But it sounded like that one uh, kind of had a, a ended on a down note anyway. So I don't know if that would have really added to the mood or not. We want to thank you for joining us though and, and being a part of this game. Shit, we got more people here now than some of the games we advertise, so thank you. It's bigger than Eurovision, this Hockey World Cup. Here's a chance. Shot blocked as he was on his way with that one, but just a high stick block is enough to stop the puck for Team USA there. Some big defense. And now they've got a chance to move it in on offense. It gets just beyond his stick, though, just beyond the blade. And so now, CIS working on, uh, on the other side, Lily Potto with some room. He will wait to see if he's got somebody coming into the slot. And now this one is going to be dribbled away. Trying to catch back up to it now. Not led will chase it down and take it behind Jarvin's net. And around 115 left in the first period of a pretty interesting game so far. Definitely one of the most interesting goals we have seen in Hockey World Cup. I'm glad I was here at least for that one. So, around the corner here. 
And everybody chasing that one. And <laughs> Jarvin came all the way out. Alexander shoots and scores. He got an assist from Lilipato and just took advantage of the goalie coming out of his net. And a big goal by Alexander. That could be uh, a big goal there as that puts him up by two. Three to one. 40 seconds left in the first period. And he's going to go ahead and dump one in. We'll see if uh, Jarvin is going to come out of the net for this. <laughs> he does make the stop. The rebound shot. Oh, just over the net. Just over the net. So, <laughs> some good offense from the Commonwealth of Independent States. And, oh, man, he had him right in front there looking for the spin backhander but not able to get it. He just uh, put a lot of velocity on that shot and maybe a little too much. But doesn't matter. They're up by two. Three to one, your score. So go to the second period of this second game. First game went to Team USA in, uh, in, in pretty striking fashion. I, I have to give credit to Team USA we did not know if they would even have enough people for uh, this game today, but they did. They came out and they played, and they're doing pretty well against a very strong Commonwealth of Independent States team. Most people would say that uh, this is one of the better teams in the um, Hockey World Cup, this Commonwealth of Independent States teams, as uh, many of them have experience in the uh, in the Russian leagues, and they're definitely uh, veteran players. So, Team USA with their hands a little more full here in the second game, as we have ticked down about a minute here in the second, and but they are moving it. They are taking it into the CIS zone, and now this will be carried around. Sent over. Royce is going to be there. And Jarvin coming all the way out of his net. This has been dangerous once, but he's going to go ahead and uh, he lives for danger. He's got Toulouse to back him up in the net currently. And, uh, in fact, they may just be going with Toulouse in the net full time at this point as uh, he is definitely a star goalie for Team USA. He's uh, looking at a shot there that goes over the net. And, oh, now they will switch him back out as Fleurs will skate up. Jarvin goes back. Here's a shot, though, for TBSA. Big save by Ark as he got the stop for CIS. So these goalies being tested and so far doing pretty well. So here is Jarvin. He's going to hold on to this. He's got not lead to back him up. You'll see uh, a lot of this as they kind of uh, switch places in the net and help each other out. Several of these players capable of playing very well in the goalie position. So here's a long distance one thrown in from CIS. It will be blocked easily as it was uh, not much on that one. Lily Pato coming in and almost an own goal there. And the rebound almost goes in. And so, wow, a couple of shots there that do not find their mark but only just. As Lures will take this, Lily Pato collides with him, and CIS will gather this back up. Here they go with it. Lily Pato taking it at the faceoff circle. He's got a couple of players on him, though, and what will he do with this? It is taken away from him, and off the stick, the shot, the save. Arc up to the task between the pipes. As he's uh, come in, substituted in the second game, and done a fine job on goalie. So that will take us down to the two-minute mark. Three to one, the lead for CIS right now. They're holding on. And Puck going back down into their zone, looking for the steal is not led. Royce going to get it back to the other end. And it will be played out here. This is a possible chance. Broken up as Royce again on defense. Doing a good job of stopping that before the one. And so now Team USA with it. They will push it back to center ice. 
And in between a couple of people that almost had a chance, Ark made the stop, got it out. It was hanging in the crease there for a moment, though. <laughs> that could have been a tough one. As Team USA, the only goal they've had so far has been kind of a remarkable one. And looking for a second there, they tried to just chop at that with their sticks as it flew through the air. And that will take us down to the one-minute mark. Here comes CIS, though, loose with it. Chance, possibly? No, he's got two players to stop him there from Team USA. And they will just dig this loose. But held by CIS, they're going to switch this up and go to the opposite end of the rink. Tolures will take this down. Send it along the boards to Luchik. And which way will he go? He meets some resistance from Lily Pato there, and he's going to use the boards to get it down to Not Lead, who will continue it down to the other end of the rink. And Royce will take this. 17 seconds left. Facing Not Lead there, pass to Alexander. And again, Not Lead circling, stealing, and he's going to look for somebody at the point, and they were not around to take that. And they will be content to just send this all the way back down. That will take us into our third period. It is three to one. And game one went to Team USA. And a surprisingly uh, well played game. This one is looking more like the Commonwealth of Independent State team that we have seen before. They are uh, very strong in their own right. And they are up by two with a score of three to one. So, Lily Pato will uh, leave the game after uh, be playing very well in in this series. And uh, thank you for playing, Lily Pato. A, a great player. I'm sure we'll see him in the uh, playoffs. So, his place will be taken. It looks like uh, your lineups are Ark, Royce, Alexander, and Fertile now. So... Yeah, they, they don't lose a step there as far as their personnel. Uh, this, their bench is pretty deep, I must say. And here's a chance in front with the pass. Fertile, <laughs> just like that. We were just talking about him, and he shoots and scores. So 4-1 to one with CIS team. Yeah, the, the, it's good to have some depth on your team. When you've got a, uh, a bench that you can... Uh, choose from that definitely helps and sometimes there are things in life where you can't make it to a game or whatever and it's good to have people to choose from but it's also nice to whenever things aren't working for one player or two players for whatever reasons that you can substitute and uh, see if it helps to work with different chemistry so we find that that is a uh, that is the truth, whether it's in the big leagues or whether it's here in hockey question mark. There's the shot and the stop as Jarvin got that one, and he had to do some work, <laughs> but he did get it. And so now the puck going back, and Jarvin will play this out, and. We'll see if uh, we'll see what they can do here. Here's one that bounces off the side of the net, and I thought that might have a chance for a second there. <laughs> but three minutes remain on this game and on this uh, this cast, I suppose. If this is the last game I know of for hockey question mark World Cup today i'm not sure when the england ukraine game is scheduled to be played um i guess we'll, we'll play this stuff by ear as always but looking forward oh and royce oh, oh, oh man with an assist from alexander that was a very well put together play and he uh buries one in the corner with the with the high stick, that was some uh, very skilled play by the Commonwealth of Independent States. These guys are good, and they're not done. 
They've got a couple minutes left here. Five to one, your score. This one looking decidedly different than the first game we watched where Team USA with a surprising win. And this one looking more like we thought the games might go before. But Team USA, it's been a tough Hockey World Cup for them, like we said, for many reasons. There's a save by Jarvin. Uh, the personnel issues, I mean, the loss of Dial right there at the beginning, who was uh, sort of spearheading a lot of their uh, their whole campaign, that was a big loss. And then just trying to, in the wake of that, find their footing a little bit and then some internal drama that doesn't really need to be gone into here because I don't really know the details and frankly I don't give a fuck and neither do you but it's it's been a tough road here oh and Luchik's gonna get one as he finds the top right corner of the net a beautiful shot there on the backhand five to two team USA not going down without a fight. And, and Luchik has played very well in this series, in, in the Hockey World Cups. So, big ups to him. Uh, but, yes, uh, throughout all this, uh, Team USA has uh, had their troubles. And now here's one finishing it off is fertile as he had an empty net to look at there. With the assist from Royce, that is the second of the game for fertile. That will make it 6-2. to two. And that is your scoreline so far. Will it end up that way? We will find out. We've got 30 seconds left. and But, yeah, it has been a tough road uh, to the Hockey World Cup for Team USA. But they've got a lot to build on here. And uh, this first win of the day was a good one for them. So they've got to be proud of that, if nothing else. That, that was uh, something else. But this one is going to go in the books as a win for CIS as they finish it off 6-2 to two and the GGs come out. And what a series this turned out to be. We did not know if it would be. Didn't even know if this was going to happen. Didn't know if it was going to be a forfeit. So uh, GGs to the U.S. for showing up and winning a game. Unbelievable. That's great. And good luck to... Uh, the folks at the Commonwealth of Independent States, they are a strong team, and we will see how they do with interest here in the playoffs that are coming. And uh, good luck to all the teams that have made it to the playoffs. We are interested to see how it works out. It's going to be a, a fun ride. It already has been, and we thank you for watching what we have uh, showed you here of it on the Independent Broadcast Network. Don't forget you can go to YouTube and go to IBN Casting on YouTube and catch all the games that you weren't able to catch live. And follow us on Twitter at IBN Casting where we will tell you more about when the games are. We didn't say anything today because well, we're really up to airtime. We didn't even know if there was going to be a damn game or not. So uh, we thank you for tuning in and watching you know, because it... Uh, it turned out there were games, and they were good. And we are glad that you were here to share them with us. So I'm Winners with the One. You can find me at Winners with the One on Twitter, and I encourage you to do so. Coming up, a lot of things happening on the Independent Broadcast Network. As far as I know, TWL Insurgency starts soon, like as soon as Tuesday with the draft tournament. Have to get all of those guys, see what's up with them. Ah, the esports, it's so fucking flaky, man. You just you just never know. You just never know. Man, Super Bowl, uh, th this game has sort of taken several communities by storm. Everybody from hockey's playing it. Everybody from tribes is playing it. They may not be two fucking weeks from now, but in the meantime, they are. So we will be covering Super Bowl. So check that out. And Project Cyber, we've definitely got some Project Cyber set up for you uh, to bring very soon. And several other games that we've got an eye on that we've been talking about and we will be covering as well. So we're diversifying a little bit here as as we should. We, well, hockey has kept us pretty occupied lately, but there's been a lot of hockey. And some of it has been quite good. So thank you for... Um, 
staying with us and the Independent Broadcast Network. And we're bringing back some of our casters from days of old. We're bringing in some new people as well. A lot is going on. And we thank you for being a part of it either way. And we encourage you to keep watching. So from all of us, not just me, but all of us here at the Independent Broadcast Network, thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Have a great afternoon and a great Mother's Day.